Greetings, my honorable family. My name is Authority Voice, aka the Professor Peter Truth. You guys all know that we learn from other people's experience. This video that I'm making right now, I think I have said some things about it before, but I want to, I don't know what came over me this morning. I decided to repeat it again to do a similar video again. Please, anywhere you're watching this video, try to share the video as many times as possible. Let other people learn. Ever since Plymouth Daughter performed the last miraculous work, I have seen reasoning one or two things, wondering. The thing is this, I'm going to give you people instances and uh, you will, I know that you will be shedding tears watching this video. You will fear pains if you happen to be a victim. I know many girls now, especially students, university level students, many of them have done what we call abortion countless times. They have removed baby countless time. That baby that you are removing, you don't even know what the baby is going to be in future. Everything that happened in this life happened for a reason. Whatever that happened in this life happened for a reason. Sometimes you might do a mistake and give birth or carry belly out of wedlock. It might be your destiny before you come out in this world. Some people is going to counter this sin. It might be your destiny that this is how it's going to be. Maybe somebody that recognizes you do that same mistake. Or somebody that uh, uh, um, recognizes you. Maybe, maybe the person could not be a child after marriage. Because the family that she be married to uh, have this generational cause. That no woman married in that family can able to give birth. Hello, are you listening to me? Now, maybe some siblings of that family, that same person, their siblings, where they are married to, also, they are giving birth. But this is what is happening in his own family. The person might even say that, in my next world, this kind of thing will not happen again. I'm going to give birth. I will burn Pekin in my papa house to have one. Then, if the person eventually came out again and got pregnant out of wedlock, you go and remove that baby because you don't want people to shame you. Whereby, you have already said this thing before in your previous word. This word that you are seeing, it don't end today, it don't end tomorrow. The people don't know this one. If you die, word continue. You see this life? If you die, world continue. Many people don't believe in reincarnation, but it exists. It exists. This life, the same way yam, when you saw a yam, that yam will, will decay and, and the, another one will come out. This is how life be. If a person die, we bury the person. The person will decay and reconnect again. If you don't come out in that family, maybe from the... That is how it works. You might not believe it, but the main reason why I'm saying this thing is this. Because of this Plymouth daughter. Plymouth daughter. A wonderful angel. An angel God has sent to come and deliver his people from bondage. An angel God has sent to look into the Problems of people that they have one hour or two hours to go to leave this world because of the wicked people that surround the person. Now, I'm saying, imagine this is, if you are a girl and you have do abortion, remove baby, go on your knee and start asking God for forgiveness. Go on your knee and start asking God for forgiveness. That particular child that you remove, you don't know if it's the one that's God have destiny that is going to wipe away all your tears or make you that take care of you at your old age is the one that you remove. That's why we come in some families, they will born some we born five, six, seven, eight, ten children. But it's only one person that will be the breadwinner. How are you sure that one that you remove is not the breadwinner of your life? Question. 
Now, I'm still going into, I have said this thing before, things that are, this video might be long, but get patience, we're going to learn a lot from it, and try to share it so that other people are going to see it. This playmate daughter now, expectation of playmate, when he impregnated this girl, is for her to remove that baby. As a student, a couple, we never get anything, no that kind of level. Now, the girl could not remove the baby. After she broke up with Plymouth, he found a new love and thought it was the new person that was responsible for the pregnancy. On the DNA, they carry out DNA test. It happened that the guy is not responsible for the pregnancy. And she knew that it's only Plymouth that he has something to do with. Now she carried the belly. Plymouth ran for his life. Had he been out of frustration, how so many girls used to do? Frustration and depression. She have, if she have removed that baby, now the baby is a destiny child. The baby is a queen. The baby is an angel. God own daughter. Had he been playmate, girlfriend or wife, have removed that baby. You know it is a mother case. For you that is removing baby, don't say that you never kill person for the first time. You have killed person for the first time. That baby that you remove is an innocent child. It's better that you kill an adult. It's better that you kill an adult than killing an innocent child. Yes. It's better you kill your fellow human being, an adult, than an angel. That baby that you carry in your stomach is an angel. That's why sometimes there was a baby that we carry like this. Things will be, you carry the baby, things will be moving well, connections, favor, good luck. And there is some baby that when you carry, bad luck will be coming until you give birth, good luck will be coming. Then there is also a baby that you will carry, better when you say pregnant and after the birth, nothing good will happen. Some of them are like people when that's maybe your father. Maybe your father hasn't deal with them, suffer them in their previous world. When they come back, they decided to come and, and revenge, to come and frustrate you. That when you get that kind of child, they are, they are for a particular mission. That one aside. Now, the lady could not remove the baby. He kept the baby without knowing that he's a destiny child. If you are a man and you are listening to me and you left your child somewhere or there is a baby that you abandoned, a lady that you abandoned, that are not the one responsible for the pregnancy, where you know too well that you are the one, start looking for that baby because you don't know if that baby is the one God will use to wipe away your tears or make you save your life in this earth. Many people have used their hand and killed their destiny helper. And they are still moving from churches to churches, from native daughter to native daughter, looking for solution, looking for a native daughter that is going to do okay for them, I will for them, whereby they are the one that killed their own destiny helper. Destiny. Had it been this Plymouth daughter have died, can't you see that the girl is, he, is his own destiny helper? Is his own Lifesaver. Had it been the girl have died, don't you know that if, as this thing happened to Plymouth, Plymouth will die. Plymouth will die because it's the girl that God used to give them a pure solution of their problem. Go and apologize to that pastor. Go and apologize to that pastor. That is what makes them to carry Plymouth and MZ and go to Plymouth and pass us her, go and ask for forgiveness and pass to pray for them and they become fine. Share this video. I have told you people this story before about my guy where all of us are driving Okada and his wife. As I'm talking to you, for more than six, more than six years now, they are married, no child, because the girl removed baby for the boy. And the boy is from Kogi State. And Kogi people. I spoke with them last week. 
As I'm talking to you now, because the child is no more coming, the guy he don't even leave the girl. He tell me direct. So he don't want marry again. He won't even leave Nibo for the girl. Go back to Kogi State. But as I'm talking to you now, you don't follow another divorced woman, Chin Aka. They, they sleep there and left his own wife at home. That he bring an issue for them. I have said this story before. Let me not go into details. Let me not go into details so that this video will be too long, will not be too long. But what I'm trying to say you is this. As I'm talking to you, I get the message. See what is your problem. And the lady confirm it. Say everywhere they have been going for prayer. That this is what they have been telling um, telling them. He now said that they have even do a part of the thing they asked them to do. You understand? But they did not do it in right. You are telling them they should go to their own house, father's house. Look for the, some somebody that is settling uh, anybody that, case of anybody that commits abomination. Is the person that you people are going to go and confess, and the person will tell you what you used to appease the gods of the land. But the guy, they go to in go to a maternal place, go do it, which is not what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be in his own father's house. To cut everything short, no child now. And the girl, no. I, as I give them, he said that I should call her husband. I call her husband. I talk to her, to him. We spent like 20, 30 minutes on call. I talk to the guy. That is when the guy told me that he no, he's not marrying the girl again. He's not married. And the girl is even telling him that he's not coming down. He's not sleeping at, uh, in the house. Uh, this and that. I told him, my dear, your husband is no more interested. He said that he will not be the one to leave the house. That he wants him to pack and go. Then... Let it not be that he the one that left him, leave him, I mean to say. So this is the only thing I, I want to say. If you have removed your own destiny helper, go and do some sacrifice. Ask God for forgiveness. That is the only thing that will save you. Many of you that is barren today because of that child that you remove. Some, you don't even know if, we, if your mission in coming is to give birth to only one or two child. Now you don't do abortion. Remove the two baby God put in your stomach. The two baby where God don't give you, say you go, you want to use this one, bless you for this one. You don't remove it because of unwanted pregnancy. Now you're not looking for who you are going to accuse. Point out that that is one responsible for your barrenness. No, you are the one causing it for yourself. But trust me, any day you confess your sin, God is ready to wipe away your tears and give you a new womb and a baby. This is the only thing I can say. So let us learn lesson from the look at now this girl now the whole world are now looking onto he her a small girl how many years eight years girl God is using her mightily God is using her mightily what God cannot do does not exist share this video follow us and subscribe I believe you have learned lesson from this. If you are among those that have removed baby, many girls, even you that are watching me, you might be one of the, them. You might be one of them. You might have removed your own baby. You might have removed your own baby. What any sin has its own consequence. You might even marry and be given birth. There must be a way you will receive your own punishment. If you see me any day, we say you don't carry belief authority voice. I don't marry. Kalas.